Hi everyone, my name is Mike and I'm going to be running through the parameters that the GNH computer is showing on a piling rig. For those of you that don't know, the GNH computer is basically a system, a computer system that gets installed on a piling rig, can be installed on any piling rigs, any brand, um, any size basically. Um, and it, it's meant to show the piling contractor and their clients all the pile parameters that the operator is drilling. That can be shown in real time or it can be shared later on um, after the pile is drilled via email or USB. Okay, we're gonna start. So in this case, my computer in the office is connected remotely to the computer from the rig and I can see basically what the operator is doing. As the dealer for GNH in Australia, I have this ability of, of, seeing, this, um, of seeing what the operator is seeing remotely. Okay, we're gonna start with the with the top part of the the display. Obviously, the operator is, is drilling now the pile number thirty nine. Every time the operator starts a pile, he has to enter the, the pile number. Here we have the date, so in this case, it's the twenty fourth of um, November and the, the the time. Okay, sixteen point twenty two is the depth that the actual that the operator is is currently on is drilling on right now. I think the, the depth required for this pile is uh, 16.8. So we have the depth here, we have the penetration rate. It shows in real time. So there's times when the operator is not crowding down. So then the actual penetration rate is zero centimeters per minute. But there's time when the operator is applying crowd force on the ogre. So that's when the, the penetration rate becomes anywhere between 40 and 130 centimeters per minute. Uh, in this case, I think he drills a rock socket. That's why the advancement in, in depth is quite, quite slow. Then on the next gauge, we have the rotary head pressure. This is basically the hydraulic pressure that the rotary needs in order to spin the auger. It varies between 150, let's say, depending on how hard the material is, all the way up to um, it can be even 300, but comfortably we'll sit at around 170, 180, 200 bars at, at best. The next gauge we have the crowd pressure. This is basically the hydraulic pressure that the crowd winch requires in order to make the ogre penetrate the ground. The operator is, is applying every now and then a bit of pressure, so it's going normally it stays at about 24 bar, which is, which is the pilot pressure, but then it increases to 60, 64 depending on, on how much is needed. We also have two graphs on the right hand side of the screen for this. We have the uh, rotary crowd, uh, the, sorry, the rotary pressure, hydraulic pressure, depending on the depth. So we have hydraulic pressure on the right and depth on the left. And then we have the crowd force pressure. So you can see when the operator is pushing and applying force. So every let's say 200 every 300 mil that can be seen on the on the actual screen as well okay um, the next gauge is um, rpm the GNH computer has the ability to show the how many rotations per minute the rotary is, is spinning with the, that that over is spinning with so in this case it varies between let's say six seven five six and 10 12 15 rpm on the right hand side here, uh, just to the left, or just to the right on the, of the um, RPN screen, we have the inclinometer. So obviously drilling the rock, the mast moves slightly, there's, there's a bit of play there of course, and it varies between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. Normally it's no more than 0 0.5, depending on what the, the, what, what the mast does. Okay, here we have the recording time. So. In this case, the operator has drilled 16 minutes, almost 17, to a depth of 16.7, so almost 17 meters. Obviously, it, it all depends on the, um, on the ground because some parts of the pile have been drilled extremely fast, some parts of the pile have been drilled a lot slower. Here we have the grouting screen, which is grayed out now because the grouting has not started. But as soon as the operator is going to reach his depth, which I think it's 16.8, it will start recording the, the grouting as well. 
pressure at KDK, KDK for Germans um, stands for rotary. So the pressure at the rotary shows minus four bars is because we have not connected the um, pressure sensor at the rotary. We only connected the sensor that measures the peaks in pressure, the concrete uh, pressure on the side pipe. So that's why it also says here, please check peak route zero milliamps is because the actual sensor is not connected okay 16.8 i think that's the that they required i'm going to talk a little bit about the left column here so this is the theoretical values of the concrete volume of concrete depending on the depth that he's drilled so based on this depth right here 16.8 the computer says that he, it will need in order to fill the the entire pile which is 16.8 meters this is the volume how many liters of concrete we're gonna need so in this case 10,687 liters and this is the grout factor the grout factor is basically how much extra should the operator go on top of the theoretical volume of the pile because in the ground it's never perfect it's never straight this is the pile diameter and this, uh, this is the stroke volume. So this is the pump stroke. How many liters each stroke has. So in this case, 45 liters. There you go. The operator has switched into grouting mode. Then the actual RPM and inclinometer moves from here up here. We have the grouting screen here. And then on the left hand side of the screen, we still have the rotary head pressure because you still need rotary some people prefer to to pull without rotating some people um, some contractors rotate in this case um, this particular operator is rotating while extracting KDK as I said earlier the actual pressure on the rotary the, the concrete sensor on the rotary is not connected we have the grout pressure at this stage is 8.9 bars in real time it varies between 7 and 10 let's say this is the grout flow so how many liters per minute in this in at any one time at this stage 450 and, and, it, and it varies of course 451 452 GD here is basically how many meters of pile we've concreted so far in this case 0 0.6 meters GV is the grouting the grout volume which is 630 liters have been pumped into the pile so far And this little bar here, this orange bar, shows how much is left, basically, in order to fill this pile. So the depth right now is at 16, um, roughly 16 meters. On the right hand side, we have the pile profile in real time. So as the operator ex is extracting, we can see it here being built. On the right hand side here, we have, if on the left hand side, we have the theoretical values, on the right hand side we have the actual values so obviously two strokes that the pump um, that they were pumped in order to fill the the line and the ogre stem these are the strokes in real time as the rig is counting them and as the pump is pumping them so 24 25 so in this case we're going to expect about 238 strokes in order to fill this 16.8 meter pile. This is the volume. Again, how many liters have been pumped into the into the pile so far? And these are how many liters we need in total, as I said earlier. And the grout factor here is basically calculating as the pile progresses, it increases. Now it's at 14%. Very soon it's going to be at 15%. As I said, this is the pile parameter and this is the, the volume of, the, of each stroke of the pump. We can scroll a little bit faster. So you can see now the operator has reached, um, has, has concreted so far about 8.3, 8.2 meters of pile. So he's got another 8.5 meters to extract. Um, he's spinning the rotary at about, uh, the, the ogre at about um, 7 RPM, so very, very slowly. 
Um, here we have the inclinometer. The pressure, the concrete pressure is still between 8 and 10 bars, it varies. The, the grout flow is still at about 550, 560 liters per minute. And that's our pile parameter, that, that's our pile profile. This is how the, the pile looks. So again guys, this is what the operator can see, this is what I can see when I'm connecting remotely to that particular rig. Um, and again, the, the beauty of this system is, number one, it can be installed on, on any rig. We, we have depth um, sensors, we have inclinometer sensors, we have concrete pressure sensors, um, anything basically on any type of rig, doesn't matter how old or new it is. And the, the beautiful thing is it doesn't interact with the actual computer from the rig. So if you've got already uh, another rig that's got a computer there already, it's not going to influence the rig in any way, shape or form. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at TerraClip.